You're traveling down the road a few miles over the posted speed limit, and out of the corner of your eye, you spot a police cruiser parked on the side of the road. You glance down at your radar detector. It's silent. So your first thought is that the officer isn't doing any traffic enforcement, so you're safe. But right after you pass, you notice that the officer is pulling out from his spot, activated his overhead lights, and he's given chase. Your first reaction is a bit of anger, questioning why your radar detector didn't alert. Then a few minutes later, with the officer standing right outside the door, he makes matters worse by asking you, so how is that radar detector working out for you against my new laser gun? Hi, I'm Radar Roy, an expert in speeding ticket avoidance tactics and products, and during this video, I will be sharing with you how a police laser jamming system works and other alternatives to jamming systems. Before I share with you how a police laser jammer works, First, you'll need to have a basic understanding how a police laser LiDAR gun works and why they're so deadly. Instead of transmitting a wide beam of microwave radio signal like a police radar gun, a LiDAR gun transmits an invisible beam of light on the near-infrared light spectrum. The officer is trained to aim at the most reflective parts of your car, which is typically your front license plate or your headlight. This beam of light is also very narrow only 18 inches wide at 500 feet. So unless your detector picked up some of the laser scatter, it would never have alerted. And because the officer is able to obtain an accurate speed reading less than 250 milliseconds, which is twice as fast as a blink of your eye, you do not have enough time to react. Nationwide police LIDAR enforcement now accounts for over 25% of all speed enforcement measurement devices used by police. However, in states like Ohio, Florida, Rhode Island, police LIDAR enforcement now accounts for over half the speed enforcement. This is partly due to insurance companies like GEICO, who purchase laser guns directly from the manufacturer at a discounted rate and then give them away to police departments around the country. So you might be asking yourself, why the heck does my insurance company fund the police? Well, they consider it an investment. When you receive a speeding ticket, your insurance company can now jack up your insurance premium for the next five years. This increase averages around $4,500 nationwide. So now that you have a basic understanding on how a police laser gun works and why your detector by itself is ineffective against this technology, I'll now share with you how a police laser jamming system works. The basic concept is simple. A laser jammer detects the incoming laser beam, decodes a signal, and transmits its own beam of invisible light back at the officer's gun, making your car invisible. Now, one of the most common questions I'm asked, can I mount this on my dash and move it from vehicle to vehicle? The answer is no, and here is why. Most laser encounters are to the front of the vehicle as you're approaching the officer, and the officer's typically targeting your front license plate or one of your headlights. At 500 feet, the beam that strikes your car is only 18 inches in circumference. Therefore, to be effective, the laser jamming heads need to be installed in the grill area of your car for these type of encounters. Another common question I'm asked is, can they shoot my rear? Yes, nationally 5% of all laser encounters are from the rear, as you're moving away from the officer. Because of this, if you also want rear protection, you'll need to install an additional head or two to the rear, blinder. One of the earliest laser jamming manufacturers figured out that by adding a database lookup file to their system that the incoming signal could be decoded and the proper jam sequence transmitted to foil the officer's LiDAR gun. They patented this system and now license this technology to two other laser jamming companies, Escort and Laser Interceptor. As the popularity of laser jamming devices increased, the police LiDAR gun manufacturers fought back and began integrating variable random pulse rate algorithms into their system. Because of this, the traditional laser jamming database lookup table was basically worthless as there was no way for the jammer to identify and transmit the correct jamming code sequence. The most notable of these new laser guns are manufactured by Dragon Eye Technology, the Dragon Eye Speed LiDAR, the Dragon Eye Compact, and the Dragon Eye LiDAR Cam we were able to source two Dragon Eye Compacts for our Laser Jammer Shootout. Escort's Laser Jammer Shifter Pro had no effect on either of these two guns. However, the blinder was able to jam both of them. 
Unfortunately, we discovered a few months later after this test that the Dragon Eye had updated their algorithm, and the Blinder was unable to jam those in subsequent tests performed by other independent sources. Well, what about those passive laser scramblers from Rocky Mountain Radar? The bottom line is that they don't work. In fact, I've been offering a $50,000 reward since 2005 for anyone that can show me a Rocky Mountain Radar laser scrambler that does work as they advertise. To date, no one, including the owner of RMR, Michael Churchman, has ever taken me up on my offer. So what does work against these new random pulse rate laser guns? Well, I've only found one, and that's the Anti-Laser Priority Laser Jamming System. I dubbed the Anti-Laser Priority the system with a brain because it uses its own patented pendant technology that enables it to use pulse rate matching patterns instead of the older database lookup tables. This enables the Anti-Laser, or ALP, to jam all laser guns, including the Dragon Eye, the Stalker XLR, and LTI's True Speed SRX. If you'd like additional information about this product, press the big red button now to go directly to this page. Now there's several passive laser protection products that you can use that will reduce the reflectivity of your vehicle, making it harder for police to capture your speed. One is the Veil Stealth Coating. Veil is a coating that you apply to the most reflective portions of your car, such as your headlights, license plate, turn signals, and the chrome area. In my testing, the veil was able to reduce the effectiveness of a police laser gun as much as 70%. The laser shield, a clear license plate cover that you place over your plate that's able to deflect the incoming police laser beam. In testing, the laser shield was also 70% effective in reducing the range of a police laser gun when the gun is targeting the front license plate. And car bras. Installing a black car bra to the front of your vehicle not only protects it from paint damage, but will also reduce the reflectivity of your car to police laser. Now at the bottom of this video, there's an area where you can post your comments and or questions, and I encourage you to do so. You can also reach out to me 24-7 by emailing me at my personal email address of RadarRoy at RadarBusters.com, and check out my other reviews by pressing the banner on top of this page. Also, if you like this video, please press one of the social share buttons on this page and share it with your friends and family. This is Radar Roy. Thank you for watching, and please remember, drive safe, drive smart, but most of all, drive protected.